welcome back to the homestead. So we are out in our backyard garden and I wanna show you how things are growing. Let's head inside. All right, friends, so here is my cucumber trellis and it's doing so good. I'm so happy with how well it's doing. It is climbing like I wanted it to. We've got cucumbers that are coming down and it's looking really healthy. You can see my zinnias here. They're doing so well. I absolutely love zinnias. Now right next to it, I've got my cherry tomatoes and look at how great these cherry tomatoes look. I've been getting handfuls of them every single day. Princess. What are you doing? Now along my fence line, I put all of my Roma tomatoes and they're doing so good. I've already harvested quite a few that were already starting to turn red and I didn't want any bugs to get to them. So I went ahead and picked them and I put them in my windowsill so that they fully ripen before I turn them into sauce. But let me show you how great these aroma tomatoes are growing. Now down here, I've got an artichoke plant. This is a plant that my neighbor had given me. He gave me, I wanna say like five. And this is the only one that has survived. He has said that his plants are gotten really big, but mine is just staying that small. So I'm not sure if it's our climate or what it is, but it's not growing, but I'm hoping next year it will grow. So I will put this in the pump house at the end of the season so that it doesn't freeze once it gets cold over here. And hopefully next year it'll come back and it'll grow really well for me. Now along this trellis, I went ahead and put some more of my tomato plants. These are more Roma tomato plants that I have right in this row. I'm gonna be doing a lot of sauce. volunteer sunflower right here. It's got tons of little sunflowers on them and it's grown really tall. It has been very beautiful to look out. My kitchen window is right there. So I'm constantly looking out into this backyard garden every day when I'm in the kitchen, whether I'm cooking or doing dishes, I get to look outside and see this and I absolutely love it. This is what I was hoping for when I decided to put the backyard garden right here is I wanted to be able to see all of the growth right outside that window. Now on to all my pepper plants. They are doing fabulous. They are getting so big and so bushy and tons and tons of peppers on quite a few of them. So let me show, show you how these pepper plants are doing. This is the poblano chili peppers. And it's just loaded down with peppers. Same with this one right here. This is another poblano pepper plant. These ones up front are all green bell peppers. These are gonna be my sweet peppers. These are red bell peppers. Again, these are gonna be all sweet. I've got cayenne peppers, more bell peppers, my jalapeno peppers. And I've got some jalapenos on here. Look at all these peppers. So these peppers right here, this one and the three that are behind it, I got at a grocery store out front and they had been sitting in my garden. I'd been watering them, planted them and nothing. They weren't growing and I was afraid I was gonna have to pull them because they were just not showing me any kind of progress whatsoever. And then all of a sudden they started growing and producing a lot and lot of peppers. These are my cayenne peppers, and I was really hopeful that I would get some because I really enjoyed having my own cayenne pepper sauce. And this particular one that I'm right in front of is doing very well. Along this side of the fence, I've got my grapes. So I've got one grape here, two, and then three over there in the corner. 
and they are doing fairly well. They have some bug problems. I haven't sprayed anything on them and I don't plan on spraying anything on them, but if you know something that's organic that I can put on these to help keep the bugs away, I'd greatly appreciate it. Drop it in the comments and let me know. I do have some grapes that are, some grape clusters that are forming and turning colors. These are Concord grapes, and I'm not sure. Tart, but good. I'm hopeful in the next few years that I'll be getting a ton of grapes from here and I'll be able to make my own grape jelly. I love grape jelly. Now in this raised bed right here, I went ahead and pulled all of my onions out because they weren't doing that well, they weren't growing. So I went ahead and pulled them and instead I put a bunch of sweet potato plants that I got and they're in both of these two beds that are right here now in comparison to my other sweet potato plants that I planted last month over here let me show you how these ones are doing these are right these ones are right outside my garden and I have them right back here and they look so pretty they're climbing which exactly I wanted them to I wanted them to come out and drape out the side I had to put up the fence to keep the chickens and the dogs out from ripping them up but they're doing exactly what I wanted and they are turning really really pretty in this part of my garden All right, so back inside the garden, let me show you all of my watermelons that are growing. I've got them vining up and they're going all around the fence, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. And I've got some little bitty watermelons growing. And then I've got some big ones. This is all of my mint that I've got growing in this area, along with some flowers that are popping up. Here I've got two more watermelon plants that are doing really well. I've got them climbing. I've got little watermelons on them. And then look at these. These ones are the Kajari melons. And I've got two rather decent sized Kajari melons. That one, and then I've got one right outside the fence. My basil, which I need to cut and do some things with. Friends, this garden is really coming together. I started this over two years ago, and this is the first year that I've really got some really nice plants growing in it. Last year, I think I just had a few things in the raised beds, but that was it. I'm actually utilizing the whole garden this year and I've got a lot growing in here. It's definitely peaceful out here. This is like my favorite spot. I've got my chair in here and I can just sit in here and relax in the garden. Look at everything. I've got this beautiful view of the mountains right behind me. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely in my happy place when I'm out here in my garden. So something else that I didn't plant this, sum this summer that I really hoped I did was my tomatillo plants. Last year was the first year that I planted tomatillos and they did pretty good, but I just didn't get out to planting those in time, therefore I didn't have any. But last week I was out here cleaning and getting rid of all the weeds and I found a tomatillo plant that went ahead and volunteered over here next to my grapevines. And I went ahead and got it all staked up and hopefully I, it produces some, a few, at least a few tomatillos for me so that I can save the seeds for next year. But I would love to have some to go into some salsa. Let me show you this tomatillo plant. It's already got some flowers underneath it, starting. The 
almost thought that was weed and I was about ready to pull it out. So I'm glad I took a second glance at it and realized what it was before I cut it or pulled it because I would have been really sad to have found out later that that was actually a tomatillo plant and I pulled it. So let me go ahead. It's nice and cool right now. It's in the evening. This is the only time I like to water is later in the evening when the sun has passed so it doesn't burn my plants and they can really soak up all the water overnight and then tomorrow they'll be prepared for the hot sun. So let me go ahead and water these plants. Well friends, had to end that video pretty quick because my poor Joshua here got stung 13 times by a bunch of yellow jackets. They, the dog walked by him and brought him out and the next thing you know he's running, screaming, I'm being stung, I'm being stung. So I told him to hurry up and get inside, get in the shower. I got inside and I took 13 off of him while he was inside. So yeah, we're trying to keep him all pasted up with some baking soda and water hopefully that works let me know in the comments friends if you have any recipes for any remedies for yellow jacket stings all right friends until next time i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and family as always i hope all is well and have a blessed day oh. wish joshua some speedy recovery you already said have a blessed day <laughs> <laughs>